Okay, keep going. The servo underneath. Maestro control board on top. The metallic block there is actually just uh, a couple layers of MDF that have been covered in the foil tape. Okay, so there's an L bracket installed for the portrait orientation. The reason that's, that's there is because when the portrait orientation swings into place and stops, it actually, because of the weight, it will swing back and forth and kind of settle like that. Um, and what this does actually is, it's actually not clamped, it's just, there's a little tension on those screws and there's a magnet uh, right now duct taped on uh, down there. And what this effectively does is dampens as it lands, it kind of gives it a soft landing, and then the magnet grasps it and pulls it back. And having that on there, with the correct tension on those screws, basically eliminates those oscillations as the monitor settles into its final position. But again, not necessary to actually stop it. it just helps smooth out the landing. Servo mounts onto the wood block, and then the wood block mounts onto the L bracket. And the L bracket is actually connected to the original monitor mounting hole. Basically lifts it up and allows me to connect everything else. The uh, servo connection, servo uses a D1 spline and that's actually a one half inch nut with a modified okay, servo horn and a hacksaw and a file filed down the connection for the spline and it's actually epoxied in that second nut to hold it in place. Works fairly well. All of the original tilt height twist functionalities of the original monitor stand are still working in the actual connection. For the monitor is the original mounting plate. It came off the original monitor stand and just now screwed into the round MDF mounting board. <laughs>